I'm gonna tell you something deep and I hope you're gonna find the power to understand that thing and to take that wisdom into your life, into your heart. Because always when you go to learn whatever you learn, Torah or any kind of spiritual issue, things that are interesting you, things that will help you to develop, to grow in your spiritual path, you need to try to see how those things that you just heard related to you. What's the connection to me? Because you can go to a lecture, the rabbi will smack your head off and, and you will go out from that class broken and sad and depressed. Oh, I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that and I'm not and what's going to happen with me? What's going to be with me? Once I was in, in, in a house in Miami, we were hosted, Shabbos meal, and there was a person sitting over there and she's explaining me for hours that for the last 60 years she's doing everything because she don't want to get to hell. And like, that's not a way to serve Hashem. And she got that message from somewhere. Like someone is keep on, on, on hammering on her head like, and, and, and won't stop because that's his approach, that's his way. So we first of all must stay away from that. And when you come to a class, no, it's the word Torah, words of Torah. Yes, words of Torah can give you life and can kill you. If a person Zacha purified himself, so it becomes potion. The Vrat Torah becomes some chayim for him, and it gives him life. Lo Zacha, having purified himself, means that he came with the wrong intention. He haven't prepared himself right. He came in the in in, in against the against the direction, against the, the right way. So naset lo samavet. So it's poison, lethal poison. What, the same verses? Yes, the same Torah that has been given to us by the same righteous people, the same tzaddikim, and it's killing you. So, you have inside of yourself those tools to check if it's giving you life or if it takes your life. If it makes you happier, more inspired to serve Hashem, have more goodwill, purifying your intentions to come closer and closer to Hashem, to keep more Torah, to do more mitzvot, or that it's rejecting you and breaking you and, and, and confusing you, and then you lose your way and you want to throw it all. Your rabbis are wrong. Your intentions are wrong. Something is wrong. That's not Torah. Torah is Torah Chaim, Torah that will bring you to life. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.